Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, and you know what that means? New team of the week, and also the possibility for some last minute investments for Thursday rewards flipping, which always comes after the weekend league rewards period. So today what I wanna do in this video is kinda of just be a regular market talk video, a, usually, a usual um, time on the, on the video where we look at some investments to possibly get in on um, before or before weekend league rewards come and of course selling them in the days after rewards now this week I want to talk about the timing a little bit we did not get anything Lunar New Year related today so I do think that's gonna be coming on Friday or at least we're going to get some other type of promo on Friday so again just like last week we're gonna have a short flipping window into this week and it's going to be we want to be out of most everything by the time 1 p.m. UK comes on Thursday, excuse me, not 1 p.m., 6 p.m. UK on Thursday. So we have a little bit of a flipping time in that period there. Um, you can hold out some things longer. I mean, obviously last week we got a loading screen, but uh, cards continued to rise after that loading screen came out just because nobody had any idea what was going on. Now this Thursday, I do think we could get some type of loading screen um, for a Lunar New Year event, and I do think that that would cause, uh, I, would, I think that would cause some more panic than the loading screen we got last week because people will know what Lunar New Year is about. People will know what's coming or have an idea of what's coming. Um, as with uh, this past week when we got a loading screen, nobody had any idea what was coming with the, the car design that they put out on that, that uh, loading screen. So this week, what am I looking at to invest in? A lot of people want to buy these uh, headliner cards and it's kind of the same situation to me as it was with the um, future foot stars. I think these cards right now are a little bit overpriced. I thought the, that the foot stars cards were overpriced, but we are heading into a rewards period um, where the future foot stars, they were packed a lot during weekend league rewards and they went down a lot. If we go back and look at a few graphs, it won't really show it, but a lot of those cards, their lowest prices were hit um, right after rewards came out because people were packing these, these cards, the future foot stars, and a lot of those were coming onto the market. So if you're looking to get your hands on um, one of these new um, foot headliner cards, I think this could be, this might be your time to do it. And obviously they're not showing up as specials on the market still, which is crazy to me. Um, but I think you're gonna be able to get these cards at a discounted value on Thursday right after rewards. And then after that, I do think that they will continue They'll, they'll probably start their upwards trend as they go out of packs on Friday. But some of these cards are just getting way too cheap, and that's because you can't really find, find them on the market. A lot of people don't know that you can't find them without using a basic filter or non-special filter uh, just because to the, uh, the average FIFA player, they're just not available to be found because they would think they're special cards, but they actually aren't. So hopefully that gets fixed soon. I'm not holding out any hope for that though. Um, so basically, I don't wanna invest in these cards until they do hit that special screen, or if one of these cards just get, gets absolutely way too low. But if you wanna get one of these cards for your team, I think Thursday or maybe even Wednesday, heading into Thursday rewards, if there is any type of panic sell, uh, might be the time for you to pick up um, one or a couple of these cards if you want to have them in your team. So I want to head over to Footbin here really, really fast and take a look at uh, just what's going on with these future, or excuse me, with the foot headliners. If you're looking to buy any of these cards, a lot of them have dropped another, you know, percentage point or so today. And that's something that I want to take a look at here with Marquinhos, with Lala, and with Pepe and Sun. Sun has dropped about 100,000 coins today. Um, that's a big time drop for that card. Screening art 75. Rashford was, okay, on this morning when I looked at Rashford, even last night, he was about, he was under 500K on PS. He was about 480, 490. And on Xbox, he was still over 600,000 coins, which you can see on the graph there. But now he's finally coming back to, down to earth on Xbox where he should belong. Um, and you're gonna see this card, I think, continue to drop a little bit more. And a lot, of, a lot of these other cards are very, very high value. I think Scriniar, if you're looking to invest in any of these cards, if you feel like these cards have hit their lowest, which it probably is sort of true, they probably are about to hit their lowest, 
in the next day or so. Uh, this Screenyar card I think looks fantastic because of his link to the Versalco card that people already have in the game. And uh, just that he is a top uh, three um, center back in the Serie A. So that's something I think you guys should take a look at. Alexandro is a top tier left back. Marquinhos, a lot of people loved his inform. So this card at 100k is a massive steal in my opinion because this inform, we look at the 86 Marquinhos inform, obviously it's been panic sold, but all year he's jumped around between you know 70, 80, 90k and even at over 100k. I think this was when the Danny Alves came out um, into the flashback Danny Alves SBC. So some of these cards I just think are way, way, way too underpriced. I think Sun is still a little bit high. I like to see that drop. I like to see Pogba drop. I like to see Royce drop as well. Um, and some of these other cards are going to continue to drop. But if you're going to be awake for rewards, that's going to be a massive pickup. Just looking at these headliners cards. And of course, looking at other cards that link to a team of the week that could be coming out today. Now, this is a prediction. In a couple hours, we're going to see the actual team of the week. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. But here's what I want to say about this. We know Aguero is probably getting in, all right? He had a three-goal game. He had a hat trick. He was man of the match. I don't think it's very it's a very good idea to link invest or try to buy cards that link with Aguero. Why? Well, he's 90 rated. So how many people are actually going to be packing that card in their player picks for one or um, from Rivals Rewards or from Foot Champs Rewards? Not that many people. Yes, he is going to get packed. He's going to be on the market. But a couple more things. He doesn't fit the meta of this game with the headers that everybody likes to do. Yes, he's Aguero. He has incredible finishing. But he doesn't fit that header meta. Um, and again, it's just going to be hard to, you know, there's not a lot of people that will be packing that card. Now, if you do want to go out and make some investments related to link investments in this team of the week, I think Rusillion is a good shout. That's going to be a card that's packed by a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to use that card. He's a French left back that people could throw on their team um, and maybe try him over a Mendy but Future Stars card. I mean, you'd be crazy to kind of do that, but also if you have a red Rusillion, why not give him a shot and sell your Mendy? So that could be an area of panic selling. Maybe um, the Future Star Mendy takes a hit in price. Um, as well. So that's something I think is a decent look for investing this week. Obviously, this is not a guaranteed team of the week right here. We have some more predictions. We have the Chelsea striker card. Um, we have an Voland in form, which would be a decent card, a Gervinho left wing card, um, and then some other notables as well. But linking to this week's team of the week, I think Aguero is a lock. Um, Julian Brandt is probably a lock, but Rusillian seems to be the best link investment type card to me. Donnarumma seems like a very good link investment as well, but none of, no cards really jump off the top of my head uh, for a link investment to that card that would be a direct link investment um, with that card. So again, what you're going to want to do this week is basically just go to this foot team of the week tab on ultimate team, or excuse me, on footbin, go to the team of the weeks. And basically we can just scroll up and down this page as we do every week. Look at the special cards, check out their graphs, kind of get used to the prices and know, okay, this card's getting pretty low. Is there an opportunity to buy here and to possibly flip at a later time period? I look at this Coutron card. He's usually 300,000 coins on the Xbox. He's 280 right now. That is pretty low. If I see that go another down another 10K, I will definitely consider putting some coins into that card um, as well. So maybe even a Calabria could be a decent investment for a uh, possible link to somebody who's building up their back line because they packed the Donnarumma red in form. You might see this card in that team to link to whoever they have at center back. But then just keep scrolling through these special cards, these team of the week players. We look at team of the week 18, see if I notice any cards that are really low. First glance, I don't. Wow, Fabinho is high, 290K, that's crazy. Um, he rose a lot out of packs. Fernandinho under 100K looks actually pretty decent to me. But again, this is what you guys can be doing. If you don't know their prices, you can just get into these graphs. You can look at their graphs and say, okay, this card is something that I think might be low right now. Let me go in, check his graph, see if he actually is low. Yao Cancelo down here to 120,000 coins. That is very, 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 very cheap for that card. Um, you might see me buy a couple of those. Not because there's any Portugal hype or any um, 
Juventus hype in this team of the week that's coming up. Just the fact that that card is one of the best cards at right back in the game. People have used him all year. They know that he is good. So we take a look at some of these other cards. These are very rare cards, and I was hoping Koulibaly might be down a little bit just because of the fact that he is getting into team of the week predictions, but it looks like he is as high as ever at 224K. Uh, these team of the group stage cards are great shouts for investments as well just because they are so rare on the market. We'll go take a, a look at a couple of those here in just a second. I do like this Handanovic card, and that's one thing I, we can talk about. There's going to be people that pack the foot headliner cards from rewards, and they're going to want to use them in their team or, or you know, obviously try them out. So they pack them untradeable. Somebody's going to want to try the Skriniar that they pack. They're going to go out and buy this Handanovic keeper, I think. Every week, in the past couple of weeks, I mean, this card, yeah, you saw here, he goes 128,000 coins. The next weekend, he goes to 120 as well. So this card actually hits 140 on Xbox at certain times of the weekend. So just a lot of things that you can look at scrolling through these team of the weeks and getting on the transfer market, looking for the open bids. And one filter that you guys can use to just find random cards that you want to flip heading into a, a new period is set a min price. So let's say you're a guy with like 500 or 600,000 coins and you're wanting to get on some bids. Set a minim minimum price of like 60,000 coins with a max price of 65, and you can even switch to sort by league uh, to get a few different players in here. Let's say you go Premier League with this kind of price filter, and you can look and see, all right, what special cards are in here that I could possibly drop a bid on uh, that might be listed on open bid uh, that I could pick up and possibly get a good flip from um, this upcoming uh, weekend league. Obviously, you want to look for some popular cards, maybe cards that are getting panic sold. That wasn't a very good search return right there. Um, but there's going to be a lot more cards that should be popping up inside of this filter here. We have Mares, we have an Eric Bailly, and even just going through this can give you some ideas of who you might want to invest in. Pogba here at 520. Boom, we see an open bid right there for the start price of 52,000. Add that to your transfer list. Who knows? You might end up winning that card on bid for 480K, especially if it's in the hours right before um, a possible, the foot champs rewards period. Could be a great thing to look at. And this is just one filter that's on, honestly kind of fun. You're gonna run into stuff in here that you honestly don't see a lot of. Right now for me, it's not bringing up a lot of players, which is interesting, um, but you're going to be able to find a lot of cards using this filter, all types of special cards uh, you're, that are going to come to your attention that you're going to be able to see, like this LaFont. Okay, that interests me under 135K, under 140K, honestly, because he goes to 150, 160, because he's the best French, the highest rated French goalkeeper in this game. So again, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this got your mind thinking about what to do to invest in Thursday flipping again. Every week we do the same thing. We do the similar thing, but every week it's a little bit different because there's more, there's different cards that are coming out in packs, different cards that are in the team of the week. Obviously um, these cards will be out of the team of the week here very soon. Um, but a new team of the week coming today, which op which makes new opportunities to invest. Good luck with you guys' rewards. I actually have rewards this week. Crazily enough, I played Weekend League. I did not enjoy it at all. Um, it was very painful, but I got 11 wins, so hopefully I can get some good luck from Silver 1 player picks like I did last time. Again, if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below who you're thinking about investing in for this flipping period, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.